everyone. My name is Duncan White. I'm the group editor with the International Fire and Safety Journal. I'm here at Intersec in Dubai and I'm delighted to be with Sam Mullin, CEO of Reacton. Sam, hello my friend. Duncan, pleasure. Nice to see you. Um, it's always a pleasure to catch up with uh, Sam and the team at React on the Sea. What's happening within the ever-growing range of products that the company just keep churning out. So today we're going to look at a few things that React on have done in the last year or so, and what we're going to look at into the future. So Sam, let's kick off. And why is Intersec important? And what are you showcasing this week at the show? Insects, very important for us. Um, the location of the show is, as you know, fantastic. Centre of the world, especially at, at the moment. And the, with the products that we are showcasing, as you can see, um, we've got the, the team have been extremely busy in the last year. Um, we've just received the um, bus approval for the UAE and Saudi Arabia. So that's a big, big um, product that we're releasing at the show this year. We've also got the UL2166 on the direct product for um, Clean Agent. So it's been extremely, it's been a very, very busy year for the team. And um, we're just really excited to be here and just showcase and let our customers know exactly what we have been doing. Fantastic. And I think the um, innovation is something that React on certainly aren't shy of, uh, of pushing the boundaries on. And uh, you talked about the certification for the buses and the work that you're doing both here in the UAE and in Saudi. Um, must have been interesting to see the two fires in two days in London on the uh, electric buses. That must have been interesting. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was. Uh, there was actually. So there was a fire in central London, and then there was actually two fires: one electric and one hybrid um, fire just outside in uh, in East London. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's an interesting space. What the developments are happening. Yeah, yeah and I think that uh, as we've we've discussed before, the. Uh, the technology in relation to some of these electric and hybrid vehicles is certainly outpacing the ability for uh, the responders to deal with it. So products like um, React On are certainly what the market needs to come together to, uh, to make those vehicles a lot safer. As we look forward, Sam, what would you say is going to be the biggest challenge for you as a company in 2024? Um, I think as always, I think it's about getting our products known in the market um, and making sure that everyone knows what we do. I think with Reactom, we're one of the only companies that cover so many different um, industries. So we cover buses, heavy uh, plant and equipment, and then you go to CNC machines, wind turbines, electrical control panels. Um, I think you, you, you probably know we protect the Ain wheel in Dubai, so we, we, we protect the hydraulic pods. So we have so many different, we have such a vast array, array of um, applications we can protect. It's about making sure our customers really know what we can protect, um, which is almost anything really. And, and I think going on to say that uh, with the um, uniqueness of your product and the um, ability to be bespoke, like you say, yeah. you can uh, you can put it into any any application you need to. Sam, so let's just take a look back at 2023. What would you say has been the high point for you as a company on your achievements for 2023? I think the highlight for Reacton in 2023 uh, is gaining the UL2166 approval. I think among the other approvals that I mentioned earlier, um, which have been quite challenging, the UL2166 is, a, is an approval that the industry has been has been has needed um, and has been pushing for for many years. And I think it just showcases where Reacton sit and the reliability of our systems and the performance. And I think it's going to be a, a game changer. Um, um, for, for, for the world when it comes to um, small small cabinet protection, electrical protection. And um, with the agents, we, we, we protect it with uh, FK512. So it's, 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 a, it's a fantastic product and we're really pleased to be here and, and launching that at the show. And it does what it says on the tent. Exactly. And, uh, and if, uh, if something's going to be taken on board and mainstream, then it needs to be simple, it needs to be effective, and like we say, it does what it says on the tin. 
Quite rightly, I think that a world first getting that certification, you're you're right to be proud, and I think that uh, we certainly see that with the with the team here that you've got with you. They're always bright, bubbly, and uh, really keen and enthusiastic to tell are, people yeah. about what they've got. Yeah. And uh, even Ed talking about his mass massive machine shop that he always likes sending photographs to uh, everybody <laughs> for. We're we're going to. I think to wrap up, we just need to look and say what what is 2024 going to be for for uh, Reacton? What are you going to do? What any surprises for us in the uh, in the near future? <laughs> I think 2023 has been challenging uh, with the two new bus approvals, um, the UAE and Sasso, um, and uh, the UL approval. 2023 bringing them across the line has been a really has been um, a great achievement, but challenging to bring um, those all in one year. So 2024 is about educating our market, making sure that everyone knows what we can do, and just pushing, um, just pushing the team into into making sure everyone knows what what the um, what we can do. I think the people that uh, that matter in the industry when it's coming to, to look at putting protection certainly know the name React on. You're there, you're there, and I think what is really, really good is that the front cover of the January issue of uh, the International Fire and Safety Journal, pick up your free copy if you haven't already got one, but uh, you'll see this gentleman's face on the, on the front cover and uh, a really great head-to-head -head insight inside the magazine. One thing I'd like to say is on behalf of the whole team at IFSJ is how proud we are to have React on on board for the platinum sponsor for our forthcoming event here in Dubai on May 9th so uh, look out for information on that and uh, be sure to see Sam and the team there as well. Sam always a pleasure my friend. Thank you very much. Sam. Take care. Really appreciate it. Thank you it. very much.